For over 50 years, Greenbelt has helped landowners, farmers, cities, towns, and organizations preserve and protect 16,000 acres of farms, habitats, and landscapes in Essex County. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at Suffolk University's Modern Theater in downtown Boston. The president of Greenbelt, Essex County's Land Trust, Ed Becker, joins Newsmakers. Thanks for being here, Ed. Thanks for having me. So how has Greenbelt evolved over almost 60 years in regards to protecting and preserving land of Essex County? Well, Greenbelt is part of that long-standing uh, tradition in the U.S. of land conservation that harkened back to the 19th century with Teddy Roosevelt and John Muir. And beginning in the middle of the 20th century, there was a movement towards uh, local organizations starting to be involved in conservation. So Greenbelt is an example of that, of a nonprofit land trust formed in 61. And since that time, it's grown uh, from an all-volunteer organization to one that has a professional staff uh, and has been more proactive uh, and more successful in terms of its land conservation mission. I imagine people are curious, what's the formula that Greenbelt uses to determine what land has conservation value? Now, geography is Essex County, so the northeastern corner of Massachusetts, 34 cities and towns, and we're focused on land that's important to protect because of its agricultural use, mm -hmm. uh, its wildlife habitat, or if it's particularly scenic. And then as our name suggests, Greenbelt, uh, we're looking at uh, creating these connections or protected corridors uh, of open space. So that's the primary criteria, but we're also informed by providing places for the public to still have access to the open space. Uh, and then climate change, uh, more recently, is an area that informs our decisions in terms of what we protect. All right, well, tell us a little bit about the campaign for 10,000 acres. Sure. So uh, Essex County, for anyone who's been there, is a very special place, an amazing landscape, uh, but there's about 80,000 acres that's not yet developed, but not yet protected. And we're never gonna save all of that, nor should all of it be saved. Uh, but there's about 10,000 acres we've identified that really represents the, the best of what remains in the region. So those special farms, those habitats, those outdoor recreational areas. So we decided to be ambitious and launch this campaign to try to save 10,000 acres over the next 10 years. Okay, so how do you keep Greenbelt top of mind with so much land and so many people and also so many developments? Sure, yeah. we. Um, uh, we have what's called the Landowner Outreach Initiative. So we uh, have been in touch with every landowner in Essex County that has five acres or more. And so part of our business is to inform people of different options for their property, but also to establish a relationship over time. So as we talk to folks, as they get to know us, uh, that may lead to their interest in some options that could lead to conservation for their property. All right, so say people don't have land to donate or to sell, how can they get involved? Well, we're a membership organization, so we have several thousand members. Um, we have events, so there's great uh, opportunities for people to get outdoors, uh, to enjoy our activities. Uh, we rely on several hundred volunteers, so there's all kinds of opportunities to visit the properties, uh, to get to know the organization, and to be directly engaged with us. I'm sure you have many examples, but can you give us one in which some specific land has been preserved? Sure, there's uh, lots of examples throughout the region, uh, but um, uh, just recently, we uh, acquired um, about 30 acres in the town of Ipswich, adjacent to one of our existing reservations, which uh, is an interesting place. Our reservation uh, is called the Elizabeth Howe Reservation, named after one of the accused witches from the Salem Witch Trials period. And this is where she used to travel on the trails and her family had a home and so on. And so we had an opportunity to acquire 30 some odd acres adjacent to that to expand that green belt of protected open space. But that's a great story, Ed. Well, thanks for chatting with us about the Essex County's Land Trust. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.